Incidents rarely happen during a match, but this incident you won't believe. We will take you through the most dangerous incidents in history during darts matches. Alan Norris had burst onto the scene, making his Ali Pali debut in spectacular fashion. He demolished Robert Thornton, outshone John Mernon, and even took down Mark Webster all in his debut year. The darts world was buzzing with excitement, but it was in the quarterfinals that things took a dramatic turn. In a nail-biting match against Jelle Klaassen, Norris found himself 3-1 up. It all came down to a thrilling deciding set, which Klaassen won 3-0, securing a heart-stopping 5-4 victory. This loss must have been a bitter pill for Norris to swallow after such an extraordinary debut run, but the tale doesn't end there. Norris returned to Ali Pali in 2017, facing John Michael in the first round, which he won 3-2. Then, he faced Raymond van Barneveld. After missing a crucial shot at double 16 from 146 to win the first leg, Norris found himself trailing. He missed two critical darts at double. Barney, as he's affectionately known, capitalised on Norris's missteps, winning three consecutive legs, extending his winning streak to six in a row, and putting Norris two sets down. Now here's where things get intriguing. During the break, Barney used Norris's towel to wipe his face and hands, but when he returned to the stage, something extraordinary happened. In a moment of frustration, Alan Norris threw the towel from the table to the floor. Fans and pundits were left speculating. Was he mimicking a boxer's bravado, or was he genuinely annoyed? with Barney. As the game resumed, the towel made its way back onto the table. However, in the midst of the third set, Norris once again wiped his face with it before dramatically tossing it to the ground. But did this towel throwing spectacle affect the outcome of the game? Norris went on to lose that set, trailing 4-0, but not before displaying some sarcastic celebrations. Barney ultimately secured a 4-0 whitewash victory. The towel, a silent witness to the unfolding drama, remained on the floor at the end of the game. Surprisingly, both players seemed unfazed by the incident, leaving fans and pundits to puzzle over its true significance. In retrospect, Barney averaged an astounding 103, while Norris's 97 average was weighed down by a doubling percentage of just 18. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. On to the next Towelgate incident. In the winter of 2016, Corey Cadby was on fire. He had just clinched his first PDC title and secured his second development tour event. But what really put him on the map was his remarkable journey to the World Youth Championship final. On that grand stage at Butlin's Minehead, Cadby went head to head with Barry Van Peer and the fireworks were just beginning. Cadby's journey to the final was no cakewalk. He had to beat the talented Dimitri van den Berg in the semis, setting the stage for an epic showdown in the championship match. Now picture this, Cadby, a rising star, facing off against Barry Van Peer in a fiercely competitive World Youth Championship final. The atmosphere was electric and the darts were red hot. Cadby went on to win 6-2, making a statement that echoed throughout the darting world. But that was just the beginning of Cadby's remarkable run. He stepped onto the stage at the World Championship, setting a preliminary round record average in a scintillating win. However, his journey in this tournament was cut short when he faced Joe Cullen in the first round. What happened next was quite surprising. After his World Championship stint, Cadby disappeared from the PDC scene for nearly eight months. It was as if he had vanished into thin air. But as we know in the world of darts, you can never count out a talented player like Corey Cadby for long. Fast forward to the DPA qualifier for the Auckland Masters World Series event. Cadby returned with a bang, starting with a stunning first round victory over Peter Wright. His darting prowess was on full display, averaging 100 in a quarterfinal win against Michael Smith. This remarkable run set up a semi-final clash with none other than the 16-time world champion, Phil the Power Taylor. The tension was palpable given their history. In their first meeting in 2016, Cadby had fallen to Taylor, but a week later, he exacted sweet revenge, defeating the legend 6-2 with an impressive average of 103. It was a victory that sent shockwaves through the darting world. Their third encounter took place on Phil Taylor's birthday, adding an extra layer of intrigue. The match was incredibly tight, with the score tied after 15 legs in the first to 11 game. But here's where it gets interesting. The arena was sweltering, and Corey Cadby, feeling the heat, began to repeatedly move his shoulders after throws to prevent his shirt from sticking to him. Phil Taylor couldn't help but laugh at this, and the tension started to rise. When Corey went 9-7 ahead, Phil implied that Cadby's movements were an attempt to put him off. Corey had to clarify the situation, explaining that it was the stifling heat causing his fidgeting. 
As Corey took a 10-7 lead, Phil seemed to mock him by handing him a towel after each throw. Then, in a surprising turn of events, Phil playfully pretended to wipe his brow with Corey's towel. It was a light-hearted moment that left the audience in splits. However, as the match continued, tensions flared. After Corey missed three match darts, a fan threw the towel back to Phil, who used it to wipe his own face. Phil won that leg, but Corey bounced back to secure an 11-8 victory. After the match, Corey continued to use the towel. Phil asked him to sign the match board, a common practice among players. However, in a surprising move, Corey refused. In a fit of frustration, Taylor threw the pen at him before leaving the stage. But the story doesn't end there. Despite the heated exchanges, Corey and Phil played again a week later, and this time, Taylor got his revenge with a 10-9 victory. After the match, Cadby finally agreed to sign the board, and Phil gave it to him as a gesture of reconciliation. The players had made up. Speaking of quirky darts moments involving towels, let's rewind to the UK Open in 2007, where we witnessed a hilarious encounter between Wayne Mardle and Dennis Evans during the last 64. Evans, aptly nicknamed The Heat, was up against Mardle, who was clearly feeling the heat during a break. In a move that left the audience in stitches, Mardle draped a towel around his head and decided to throw with it on. You can imagine the scene, fans bursting into laughter, with some shouting, he's got a towel on his head, but there was more to this than just a humorous stunt. Mardle later revealed that he wasn't just trying to get a few laughs. He claimed that it felt like a scorching 100 degrees in the venue, and the towel he had was soaked in ice cold water. It was his creative way of staying cool under pressure. But here's the twist. Marden admitted that he had a problem with concentration in the extreme heat. So, in a way, the towel became his secret weapon to stay in the game. Despite the towel head antics, Marlow went on to lose 11-7 to the Heat Evans. It was a memorable moment that showcased the lengths players would go to adapt to challenging conditions. Interestingly, today's PDC players can't quite throw like this during a game. Rule 15.7.2 states that no headgear can be worn without prior permission from the promoter, except for religious or medical reasons with written documentation. But let's be honest, in recent times, we've seen some rule bending. Take Gerwin Price, for instance. He wore headphones during a game at the last World Championships. It makes you wonder, are these rules always strictly enforced? And it's not the first time a towel was used for theatrical effect in darts. Back in 1986, Eric Bristow clinched his fifth and final world title by defeating Dave Whitcomb 4-0 in the World Championship Final. In a playful gesture, Whitcomb threw his white towel at Bristow. Eric caught it and then playfully placed it on his head adding a touch of humour to his victory. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. See you next time.